is up guys another day another beautiful day um, we're gonna be doing something different um, with me I have a customer's car and I'm gonna be doing a studio note install on that this one is gonna be a bit different this one is gonna be a parallel install parallel install is basically when you keep the factory ECU for certain functions on the car and then you use an aftermarket ECU for fuel spark and whatever else you need to control right so let me give you a walkthrough of what exactly we have going on here okay and we have a Alteza a Toyota Alteza um, looks exactly like an IS 300 for you US viewers but it's not chassis is pretty much the same but it's a JDM only um, car right it's a four-door sedan comes with the Toyota 3S GE dual vvti engine it's a beams engine um this one is a six speed what else can i show you about the car sitting on some advan wheels and here is the engine bay it's a bone stock 3FGE motor Toyota Beams dual VVTi motor as you can see to my knowledge it's stock um, I think he has some sort of aftermarket pump on there and this fuel pressure regulator okay so the issue on these cars somewhere inside of here You can see bone stock even down to the airbox it does have a muffler on it but i don't think that changes the performance of the car at, at all alrighty so i'm going to be doing a speed window install like i said on this car um it's going to be a v0.4.3 board um, i'm going to be using a one of my boards the v4uc and then i'm going to be making a separate harness so we're going to keep the the entire vehicle's factory harness not going to touch much other than the fuel and the spark so we're going to let this the factory ecu control fuel pump idle control um vvt and dual vvt and i think the ecu is also tied to the canvas of the car so it has to do ac and all of the accessories so we're not going to bother with that um we're just looking at controlling the fuel and spark um the owner of this car does plan to um does plan to turbocharge it i think he's he has some parts already he may have everything i'm not sure but we're just going to do the any portion for now um hopefully get a good tune going for the the any motor and we'll see what we get from there um yeah so what I, what I intend to do, I'll put in a couple of clips. Um, since we don't have an operational local dyno now, um, I would love to see the before and after time. So what I'm going to do, I have the my cell phones, one of my cell phones with the TRC, that recent channel app. And I'm going to take it to our old airport runway. And then I'm just going to do a couple of pulls. And then we're just going to look at the trap speed. The trap speed is an indication of horsepower. Um, I'm expecting this car, well, I think it comes from factory for about 210 horsepower. Uh, so it should be about anywhere from 87 to 89 miles an hour. They're about depending on um, if it's healthy and other than that. So we're going to put a couple of clips there to know if we gain anything from the swap of issues. We had the track. And we have the, I have my phone going with the TRC app, so I'm going to do a couple quarter mile pulls and then we're going to get an idea of the trap speed 
and then from that we'll have an idea of how much power the car makes currently and from there we will have a idea of whether we have any gains or not with the new issue one the first clip you saw was this one let's open it up for you so we have well don't mind the quarter mile times um, we're just looking at the trap speed we're looking at 91 miles an hour 91 miles an hour trap speed in the quarter which should be about what we would expect from a car of that weight i think it weighs about 3200 pounds and has about 210 they're about crank horsepower and the last one we got 90 miles an hour so pretty consistent so i think i did one where i had trouble getting third gear and i got an 89 miles an hour but i didn't have that clip included so yeah we have about 90 miles an hour average quarter mile speed so that will give us a a base a baseline reference to work from Alrighty guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this vid. So next one will just be the actual wiring process of the can, hopefully, maybe a start. So yeah, so beams free SGE dual VVTI motor with a parallel installation on this car and it's gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. Thanks for watching guys, as always, um, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe.